I'm bridging a gap. Yeah. 1611, I'm strapped. Dream team coming back with a slap. Hey, on the block where it's at. It's at. White Crest getting smacked. Who's gon' read? I'm about to snap. This straight facts, my boy, no cap. Nah. Steps going up. Come on out, little sis. You know, let me ask you a question. You know who you are in the Bible? You what's your all right? Now another question. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? If you was to go look for a job, and you put something on paper. What you gonna put? You don't know? So you don't know where you come from. You don't think that's crazy? Come, come over here. What do you learn about slavery in school? What do you learn about slavery? Bring it out. Who was the dead was abused? Who? Who are people? Black people. Us. Okay, to do their job. So, what you saying? We have a, pi a picture right here for you. You see that? I'm sorry. This is it what you talking about? All right. Is that is that is that what you talking about? They beat us. They abuse us, right? So, the question is. Why did it happen to our, our people? What is that? What what has happened? Because this is actually connected to your identity, who you are, your nationality. Because earlier I asked you, what's your nationality? You're like, I, I don't know. I've been told I'm black, Negro, right? We've been told a lot of things, right? But this is actually connected to who you are according to the Bible. Right? Right you know that the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are God chosen people. We wrote the Bible, right? I'm gonna show you in the Bible how this connects to you. Now when they came, when they was picking cotton, how did they come over here to the States to pick this cotton? Bring it out. Did they fly them on airplanes? Did they put them on charter buses? Or how did they get over here to pick this cotton? They were kidnapped, all right. So they, they, they kidnapped them and put them on what? What, the, what was the mode of transportation? They on ships, slave ships. Bring it out. Slave ships, right? So our people was kidnapped, put on slave ships, brought over to pick cotton to get abused. I'm going to read that in the Bible, right? And that's going to connect you to your identity. So the next time your ass, you're going to know who you are. Give me that, Deuteronomy 28, uh, verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So when you read the Bible, you understand know this? Egypt means it was a word for slavery, right? So God said he will bring the Israelites, which when you see all these people on that chart, right? You see so-called black, are you uh, African-American? What's your name, African-American, right? So when you look, it says African-American on that far chart. It says Judah right there, all right? It says Judah, and it says the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? So God said he will bring the so-called African-Americans, which is the Israelites, right? On slave ships, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he said he was going to bring our people to slavery on ships. So what the Bible said was going to happen to our people, guess what? Our people lived it. You watch right. the movies? You ever seen the movies of slavery, like Roots, 12 Years of Slavery? So guess what? We wa you watching your ancestors, the Bible become prophecy, actually living. Let's find out what else God said would happen. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. Earlier you said they got kidnapped. What did they get, what did they get kidnapped from? They got kidnapped from what? From the continent of where? Africa. All right, Africa, right? They got kidnapped. So read that again. Thou shalt see it no more again. So God said when, when we were kidnapped from the continent of Africa, right? Our home is Jerusalem, Northeast Africa. He said we will not see our homeland again. Who from your family been to Africa? Your dad been to Africa? To visit, does he go there because he lives there? He, want, he wants to visit, but did he, does he go back because he lived, that's his home? No, so the Bible is saying that homeland where they took you, you're never gonna go back again. So our people, as you can see, our people have never been back to our, to our homeland, read. And there you shall be sold there, it says, when you came over here, when they kidnapped him, like you said, young sis, and brought him over here, all right, it says, you're gonna be sold. 
What do you know about what? What? what do what do you know about our people being sold? Hey, did you learn anything about that? That part being sold on auction slave blocks? You never knew we were sold? Yeah, we were sold like a pair of shoes. They sold us like a pair of shoes. Bring it out. They literally. This is what you see right here. This is us, a mother and her daughter. That could have been your mother and you and her in her hand being sold to white folks for slaves. That's what they did. That's the history they don't teach us in the schools. They say black history, but they don't go in depth to what happened to our people. So like a pair of shoes that you got on, right? They were sold. Our fathers, our mothers were sold. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto who? Your enemies. Why, what would God say? What, would, what do you think God called the people that sold and bought us? What do you think he called them our enemies? They didn't care about us. Okay, what about today? Do you feel like they care about us? So do you think anything changed? Nothing changed. So are they, according to the Bible, are they still our enemies? Yeah. Guess what? They stole us. They put us on auction slave box, right? They put us on ship. They came over here with us. They sold us, right? Young mothers and their children. And then those kids, guess what you would have been doing during that time? Guess what you would have been doing? You see the, you see the little kid? You would have been picking cotton in a hot sun. Do you, you like know. being out there in a the hot sun? No. But guess, guess what? You wouldn't have no choice. Whatever the slave master told you, that's what you would have been doing. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.